Hello and welcome back to EURL. It's been a while since I last uploaded to YouTube. It's been two months to be exact. But we're finally back with Jeddah. There's actually round two of EURL. I've given up on uh, the idea of recording every single EURL race. So I'm just doing the ones that go well for me. So you click on this, it's most likely going to go well for me as you're about to find out over the course of this video. But yes, this is... The second round of season 3 of EURL, the first season of F122 that we race, and we have, after multiple attempts, managed to revive the week, and this is where we are now. So, I'm going to be starting in P6, you'll be seeing some uh, familiar faces from previous seasons, like Elmo Valtteri, Ovechkin, and Ichiro 10, just to name a few, and then some new ones such as Mbak F1, Red F1, and others as well, but we get a perfect lineup on the grid, and let's hope for a perfect start as we head for five red lights, four lights are on, five lights, building up the revs here, and it's lights out, and away we go, we're trying to get the best start possible, what if wheel spin for Ovechkin, we are, we are also wheel spinning a lot, watch as the rev just goes straight up whenever I upshift, but we end up losing a place to repo skits before the first chicane has even arrived to us as he makes contact ahead of us. Aston Martin's in the wall and he just kind of gets dragged on in, in, like, sideways up the barrier. That is, that, that is quite something and undoubtedly a safety car through there. And yeah, behind the safety car, catching up to the safety car team now on the second lap. Just drove normally until repo skits is doing something weird, going very wayward through there. Brake test me, I hit him in the rear, I get bumped in the rear by Matea, I get front wing damage, I reverse, <laughs> bump into the wall, get rear wing damage, that sends me all the way back down the order into P11, and yes, we do have to box this lap for a fresh set of mediums, and once we box those mediums should be good enough till the end, it's suggesting us to take a set of hards, but I feel confident, I feel confident, I, I, but definitely not going for the hards quite yet. Pulling into the final corner here, safety car is in this lap. I am completely ready to go, ready to go here in P10. As the leader goes, we go as well. There's a crash ahead of that F place who has had a massive shunt and red F108 as well. Ahead of me, he has he, he hit, hit um, F place there, taking him out. And he's now without a front wing, just fighting for his life here. I don't know what he's trying to achieve here, he's anyway going to drop back behind us, but he's just delaying me and uh, Ryan Algebori behind me, a crucial time to catch back up to the field, but eventually he lets us go, and now I can pursue uh, the rest of the field up ahead or into P6 now, with five cars ahead of us, that, make that four as, as a three post skits spinning very dangerously in front of me, but now we are on the charge with the damaged rear wing, about to attack a Tuber 10, let's see how this goes. A Tuber 10 here stuck behind Scyther 8 ahead of me. Ahead of me, he goes down the inside in this long left hand hairpin. And it makes contact with Scyther there, that is a bit edgy. But, um, he seems to survive that, might have got a bit of floor damage through there as we tried to start up a move of Scyther. A Tuber 10 spins ahead of me and Scyther just about avoids that. So do I, I have to, I have to slam on the brakes just to make sure it doesn't do. Any kind of little movement, which, like, trying to spin himself back the right way around by going into the middle of the track. Like, well, he's sensible enough for, uh, to just stay there where he is. I, I have a little bump with Ryan on the rear end. But now, in the final sector, we have an opportunity to get uh, us, ourselves, back up into fourth place. Ryan defends the inside line. I'm using a lot of ERS here. As massive wobble of there, he's, he's, he's spun himself around. Ryan has to, <laughs> has to, uh, yield there, and I get past Ryan and past Scyther and I'm up in the third place chasing Elmo Valtteri and Alfie. Alfie is squeezy by the way from a uh, previous season but here comes Ryan around my outside. I, all I have to do is just keep the inside here. Break a bit late here trying to get the inside for the next corner as well. It does work out and Scyther has retired. We have another safety car deployed and yeah, it is just becoming a mess. Uh, eight cars left in this race anymore. It's it's absolute mess. Absolute mess. Lap 8, heading on to lap 9 here around Jeddah. We're about to go racing again here, chasing Elmo Valtteri and Alfie up ahead. We make contact with Elmo Valtteri, he's just so slow through there. Nothing much I could have done there. I could have actually braked quite a lot, but just didn't cross my mind. Had to stay as near as possible. And yeah, he just was awfully slow there. 
And heading into the first corner here. Ryan sends me. I get sent by repost. I dropped two places already. Luckily, don't fall down to HG over 10 here. But it's P5 and P6 for Ferrari. Not looking too great for us at the moment. And I have to now pursue. Uh, Repos gets Ryan, Elmo, uh, and also Alfie with a damaged rear wing like I have been doing this whole race. It's been going quite well, but now Alfie with incredible pace. It's going to be difficult, but uh, especially with HG10 right behind me here. He could be sizing up a move into the left hand hairpin here. I've covered off quite nicely and we remain in the same position. Into the hairpin on the ninth lap then. I was not expecting this though. Here comes HG10 absolutely sends it on me into the hairpin i i had a heart attack there i see i just hear the engine sound the flat engine sound like no even not any kind of downshifting or anything i just hear him with a with a red lined engine just coming straight at me into the hairpin he luckily just does let me get that place back after that was a bit of an aggressive move but anyway we are still right behind repost gets ryan and elmo Vajri. there's a cracking battle battle ahead of us but the battle is allowing Alfie slash Squeezy to pull ahead as Ryan goes all out of shape in the S's. Could we have a chance here on the exit of the S's? We have to take it cautious because of, re because of the rear wing damage, but uh, it's close, it's close. We're, we're getting there. Tenth lap still fighting Ryan here for fourth place here. Looking on the inside, doesn't cover it off. I'm trying to get him to cover as many places as possible. It works, he goes wide. I have the ideal exit here. I just can't get the power planted in time, partly due to that rear wing damage. I think Ryan's pulling into the pits. No, he is not. Uh, Elmo Vatri pits though, which allows me to battle here for P3. Going around the outside here, I can break a lot later now that I'm alongside him. And no, I have the second corner as an advantage point there. But no, he just gets ahead. It's a great battle, but now we have to start defending a bit from h with them behind. Still going at it with Ryan. Round his inside, which will turn to his to my outside here, but I get it done in the first bit of the corner, so I managed to cover him off kind of at the end of that at the end of that corner, and that allows AG with 10 also to get alongside and maybe even pass as they scroll before position mid straight here as they both come at me here into the final corner. I'm trying to get a DRS deal here, which does end up working, but AG with 10 is right there, so I can't really capitalize on the inside line of the corner. But now I have DRS, I have a bit of ERS that I can play around play around with. And I will be getting past here as it looks like using all the ERS I have. And yes, that's a full car length ahead. Hopefully, won't be sending one. He does send one. I have to cover that off a bit. Leave him space there, but it does not end up being too big of a threat here. He's still quite nearby, but nowhere near striking distance for a move. He's not going to try it in there. Surely not. Yep, he just keeps keeps him behind me. Uh, fair racing there, and we're up into P2. Alright then, another safety car was the point and we're heading for our final 10 laps of the race. Uh, Alfie pit in that previous clip and now we are right behind him after we pit as well. Uh, I believe it was our man Repo Skits who had a little mistake which actually caused the safety car. But right now we're getting, to go, re getting ready to go underway here again. We get a good restart. Of course Alfie gets a bit, bit of a better one since he is the pack leader but into turn one it's now or never we have to do this move because we don't have the overall pace we get it done down the inside we're ahead for now but uh, Alfie still on the inside but we doesn't manage to get the move done and we are ahead for the first sector after the safety car restarts and now all we have to do is hold on to it for nine whole laps till the end let's see how this goes into the hairpin on this very same lap that we got past Alfie heading now into the final corner we do a purple sector two along the way but we have to go inside and defend Alfie judges that beautifully and he goes for the switchback move and now we just have to use every bit of ERS we have he has a lot better pace than we do around here so now just trying to defend it trying to ever so slightly creep up to the wall here he outbreaks himself he goes way deep into the corner and we manage to maintain our lead and that's our biggest challenge out of the way for this race he gets a three second penalty Ryan Algebra behind me has is at six seconds worth of penalties and now AG over 10 also in P3 he's going to be our biggest rival in this race and now all we have to do is pull ahead that's all that matters at this point anymore there's a massive incident behind us which leaves only me Ryan and AG over 10 fighting for the lead still with rear wing damage it's absolutely cr critical that we do not make a mistake at any point in this race anymore and um, we just have to hang on we have to push but still hang on to this lead only five laps to go anymore and here comes Ryan on the medium tire combine of tire he 
pit, the, pit for those mediums the same up I pit for hards. I knew that the mediums wouldn't last all the way. This is probably going to be his final push that he's going to make. I go way too deep into the corner. I try to leave him all the space I can, uh, but it does not quite work. We're still on one side. Just kind of turns it on me there at the second part of that corner. That little kink. I let him go by. Now, right now, I'm just thinking that if I just stick behind him, he has six seconds worth of penalties. So I, what I could do is just stick behind him and stay within a second but you can see he's already pulling out a little gap here through the S's that might just be because I have the damage but I'm just thinking that it's, it might be a bit cooler you know to win on track and not on the merit of penalties so that's exactly what I'm going to try to do over these next few corners and next few laps now then just a couple corners later we are on the back of Ryan Algebori chasing him down he's low on ERS you can see that the ERS is like blink blinking as we have DRS we go around the outside we're going to switch back or we can just loop around straight away we go for a late apex here which we don't actually end up getting because Ryan defends the inside line he will have DRS for this, for this next bit here as we are desperately trying to defend with all that we have left here comes Ryan around the, my right hand side into the first corner he dives di 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 down to the left hand side of the track which is I don't know what he thought of there he could have just had the apex and been ahead of me but he just went for the inside for the defensive line which didn't end up working for him he's still on my inside hoping that he backs out I trust him that he would back out and he did back out and that allows us to get past him and stay in first place we pulled out a little gap on Ryan here and now we have to be ever so careful not to do any kind of mistake now on the final lap of the race 3.6 seconds is the gap and looks like we're finally finally going to get our moment in the sun here as I come around the final corner to win my first ever EU World race. Wow, I, I am, I, I don't know, I don't know what to say, it's been so long, I've got so close so many times, I actually won a race in season 1 if you remember in Baku, but I got taken away from me because uh, of some, uh, what, what were deemed to be unfair penalties, but now, I finally done it. That's my first win in EURL. I couldn't be happier. And with this momentum, let's push out, push forward into Baku, and hopefully have a good rest there as well. Thank you so much for watching my return back to YouTube after about two months of break. And with that being said, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.